building information modeling also known as bim now this you have seen this word been thrown out in the construction industry very frequently see if this scenario sounds familiar to you guys all right people in this project we're going to implement something called as bim all right but what is bim and what it stand for bim actually stands for building information modeling all right so what are the first steps that we have to conduct in order to implement bim good question right what are the benefits that this implementation of bim will provide to this particular project another good question if this was a scenario in your uh, environment well in this video i'm going to be discussing from the ground up what bim is and what are the important features that are included in it and how you guys can implement it in your project so building information modeling is a process involving the generation and management of digital representation of physical and functional characteristics of an existing place so now if you guys did not understand what i just said let me break it down for you in the past decade most of the major industries have developed on a healthy pace except for the one and that is construction industry now construction industry has not developed as well as the other industries because of many reasons which cannot be discussed right now but things are starting to slowly change and the people in the construction industry have realized the fact and in order to punch the productivity even higher they have come up with a concept called as bim managing the construction of a 800 meter high skyscraper can be a bit of a hassle as mother nature provides us with many of the setbacks in the way there are a lot of documents such as the bills the drawings the inrs and what have you to be managed in order to construct this 800 meter high skyscraper we also need a lot of manpower in order to execute these projects so a new method of management is needed than ever then here comes bim in order to rescue this thing bim helps set up something called a cde which stands for common data environment now in this environment all the files are structured in a standardized manner and there are for example four structures which are wip work in progress published shared and archived so with the help of this structure all the files included in order to construct that 800 meter high skyscraper can be managed effectively also it helps set up a 3d model now imagine the 3d model of this 800 meter high skyscraper that we are building and what are the things that we can get out of it well for once the planning engineer can set up the construction sequence on this 3d model and see the structure being built from the ground up the quantity surveyors can take off the quantities can take out the particular quantities such as the quantity of the doors or the piles that are going to be used in this building and uh, within minutes the plumbing engineers can see how the placement of all the pipes in the structure is going to take place the 3d model can also help detect all the clashes between different utilities well if you can do the construction sequence without the construction actually taking place and you can find the clashes between the different utilities i think we can save a lot of time and lot of money so bim is not just a software that you can implement in a typical project bim involves software such as revit and nevis works in order to do your simulation process and in order to do all of your 3d modeling but it's not just about the software it is also about how you arrange the files included in the project how you set up the standards and most of all how you manage the collaboration process inside your project so this is what bim is hope you guys got a clear idea and this has been naman singhal from rising gulf limited and if you guys want to know more about bim and cool topics like these be sure to follow me on twitter facebook and some other thing that i cannot think of right now but that's it and hope you guys have a good day